these are all pretty basic exercises that can be done with all eight edges. Don't worry, not being able to do any single exercise won't stop you from improving your edges, and drilling these even if they seem simple can really help with control and stability. Quick note here, I realized a while ago that my videos assume people have figure skating experience or some kind of basic knowledge of how to skate. I realized, especially because I'm unqualified to teach these, that if I mess up a tutorial of the basics, it has the potential to really affect someone's skating long term. So if you're just starting out, I really recommend watching the Dancing Skaters tutorials. It has the building blocks you need when you're just starting out with little or no experience to ensure you have a strong foundation to skate on. With that out of the way, it's also important to keep in mind the differences of ice to pavement when you work on edges to make sure you don't slip. On ice, the blade you skate on actually has two edges and a hollow in between. The blade grips the ice by digging into it. On wheels, the blade has one continuous edge that you can lean on. The blade grips by friction alone and leaning too far into the edge can make your wheels lose grip and slip. I have a note here that says also wheel harness in asterisks. I think what I mean by that is you want to make sure that the, the harness of your wheels matches the surface you're skating on. The goal is to have nice, even, controlled edges weaving in and out of a center line. If you can have a straight painted line or draw a line with chalk, I find following that helps. Make sure throughout that you remember to keep a strong and upright posture, bend your knees and keep your arms out. Also, make sure you're aware of your free leg, sometimes it can help you hold or control an edge. Slaloms, also called power pulls, are my favorite place to start when warming up or working on my edges. Both two foot and one foot slaloms are helpful for gaining better control. We'll start with two feet first. This is great, especially when you're working on getting your one foot slaloms. If you concentrate on having your weight over one foot at a time, you can practice for a one foot slalom or practice edges without taking your free foot off the ground. Focus your weight over either a specific foot or a specific type of edge and dig into the ground. Keep an eye on your posture, bent knees, shoulders back, and eyes forward. If you're working on a one foot slalom, you can slowly start to lift your free foot to hover above the ground. When you finally get your one foot slalom, it might be small and less defined or slow. Edges in general can be a little harder on inlines because you can't grip into the ground. Stay persistent and work on pressing into your wheels on edges. If you can already do crossovers, this is a great place to look to improve edges. Try three crossovers along a large circle, then hold an edge for as long as you can. Another simple crossover exercise is to practice slow and drawn out crossovers holding each foot for a few counts before stepping. Again, keep an eye on your posture and your free leg. Three turns are great to practice in themselves because of how useful they are in regular skating, but combining that with a focus on your exiting edge can help improve your control over exits. Personally, my back inside edges are pretty bad and I've found doing threes with an emphasis on my exit edge has helped me with getting better control. Like I said, these are simple exercises, but I always think it's valuable to come back to the basics. Having strong edges is really important at every level of skating and if anything, these are all great warm-ups to have both on and off the ice.